Welcome to Right On with John Crane. And in today's episode, we're gonna go take a look at an art installation that I just did for a customer. Now what they have here is a, a Japanese folding screen with some real nice artwork on it, just looks beautiful. And I, the task that I had here is to make some mounting hardware for it and to install this above the fireplace. And uh, it turned out really nice. So I'm gonna show you how I made that hardware and also the installation. All right, let's take a look. All right, here's what I got laid out so far. So here are the two bottom hooks that are gonna hold the screen. And here's the mounting hardware that's gonna hold the top of the screen. So the bottom, right, is gonna mount to the wall and I'm gonna put three holes right here and that screen's gonna sit right down in here, right? And I'm gonna weld this little piece of quarter inch, it's actually 3 16 about, into the back here and then uh, that's gonna space this screen off of the wall just a little bit. And of course, uh, this will all get covered, uh, well, probably from about here down, this will get covered in black felt to protect the uh, screen when it's sitting in there. And then on the top end here, 
right? I'm gonna weld this little block here to the top. I think I'll put some holes in the back and I'll plug weld this from the back. But what's gonna happen here is I'm going to drill and tap this right here. And then this piece right here, this will get three holes in it right here. And this will get some screws and this will be the top cap. So when we set the screen in and this gets mounted to the wall, this can come in and cap the top and I'll put three screws. So there's a job for the bridge port right there. I'll go in and I'll drill three holes and tap those with a 632 tap. All right, I'm all set up here on the Bridgeport mill to do a little drilling and tapping on these mounting brackets, and I'll bring you in a little closer here. So I got this quarter inch block in here, and I'm just coming over a half inch in the middle and a half inch from the other end here, and I'm coming in with a number 36 drill bit there. All right, I'm just tapping these holes here and I'm coming in with a 632 tap and I got this little tap handle and a nice way to do this is to come in with a tap follower. So a while back, uh, maybe you guys saw this in another video here, I bought this tap follower here from Gray Ledge CNC and this has just been an awesome tap follower. Nice, great, solid construction here and uh, so I ordered this up and uh, I've been talking with uh, David Hooley over there at Gray Ledge CNC and just a really nice guy. And uh, what a surprise the other day, I walk out to the mailbox and check this out. I popped up in a package and he sent me another tap follower, but check this out. All right, look, it's got the right on logo there. He's got the thumbs up right on with John Crane awesome what a what a great present there and that was a great surprise to find that in the mailbox there and uh thanks a lot there to dave hooley there and uh definitely check him out there grayledgecnc.com and he's got these tap followers also up on ebay there so uh all right we'll mount this up here in the alber tighten that up and uh just gonna give this a little drop of some rapid tap here on the tap itself and right on the hole here. And then lower down this tap follower and compress that spring down quite a bit. And then I'll lock the quill and let's give it a whirl here. You gotta go slow with these uh, small 632 taps here. You know, these are the ones that snap right off, right? All right, now I'm gonna cover these pieces in felt. So I'll put a piece of felt down here and under here, and this is where the screen is gonna sit in there. So it's just a nice soft protective covering for that.
All right, now it's time for everyone's favorite, the barge cement. All right. All right, that turned out really nice. That felt's looking good. These came out looking really good, and now it's time to head over to the job and do the install. All right, so here we're on the job site here, and we had to set up some scaffolding. Uh, this piece is very delicate, so we want it to lift it carefully up. And uh, right, this piece is going right above the fireplace, a foot above this mantle here. So we got the mounting hardware on the wall there, and uh, the install went really smooth. All we had to do is uh, drop it in there, put on the top hooks, and put those screws in. And uh, it turned out really deluxe. The customer was uh, very happy there, and I was real happy with the installation as well. All right, that about wraps it up here for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, please stay tuned. On Tuesdays, I'm starting a new series called Taylor Ham Tuesdays, where I do a whole variety of topics. So uh, check me out here on Tuesdays for those videos. And uh, I hope you guys are doing great, and I'll see you all soon. Right on.